Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Tech with Yashwan. So in this video, let us understand how we can utilize AWS or Amazon Q Developer CLI integrated with MCP server to create the architectural diagrams in AWS, right? So uh, AWS has got a repository where they have listed all the available MCP servers. So if you see here, the one that I'm showing you right here is AWS Diagram MCP server. Uh, this MCP server uh, essentially creates, uh, you know, diagrams using the Python di diagrams package DSL. So this server allows you to generate AWS diagrams, sequence diagrams, flow diagrams and class diagrams using Python code behind the scenes. So there are a few prerequisites for you to, uh, you know, work with this MCP server. So the first one is you need to install UA from Astral or uh, you can use this GitHub readme file to install it. And you should also install uh, Python using UV Python install 3.10. And GraphVis is another uh, tool that you want to install if you want to work with, um, you know, MCP server in uh, particularly the diagram MCP server. So once you have that, uh, the first prerequisites is to install the Amazon Q uh, CLI itself. So how do you install it? So there is a documentation which is neatly documented by Amazon themselves. So you can install it for Mac OS and Ubuntu or uh, Linux, right? So uh, either you can use the view command to install it or you can also go ahead and download uh, the DMG file here. And once you have the DMG file, it looks something like this. So let me show that to you. So this is how it looks. You need a builder ID. If you do not have the builder ID created already, go ahead and give your personal email address and create one builder ID account for you, right? So that is essential when you are creating or installing the Amazon Q developer CLI. Okay. So uh, this is the installation procedures. It is pretty much straightforward. So however you install, you know, DMG file, it looks the same uh, way as is, but it will ask you for a sign in. So if you sign in uh, using the builder ID, you will be able to use it, uh, this Amazon Q uh, for free. Okay. So the next one is for, uh, uh, you know, the Ubuntu packages. Uh, you can, you know, download it from here, .deb file and uh, install it like uh, uh, any other software you install, right? So once you have that, uh, go ahead and open your terminal and you should, uh, you know, see something like this. So if you type in Q and it should, you know, come up with these, uh, you know, automatic fillers, which will help you work with Amazon Q, right? So this confirms that Q is properly installed on your a laptop okay so uh, before that i would you know provide all the links to this the aws diagram server and also the installation procedure for uh, installing amazon q in the description box below please make sure to check that out and uh, once you have the amazon q installed so let's go here and le let me type in q chat right so if i type in q chat it will open up the chat prompt for you so if you see here it is loading all the MCP servers that I have, right? So if you see here, it is loading uh, AWS a pricing MCP server, AWS EKS, EKS MCP server, uh, AWS labs uh, diagram MCP server. So diagram MCP server is what we are looking in this video. So you need to install that and you need to configure that in the uh, MCP.json file. So Amazon Q by default operate with the help of a JSON file called uh, Amazon Q uh, MCP.json file. I'll show you the path as well where exactly it resides. So hold on till the very end. Now, if you see here, uh, it is showing an error for these three uh, MCP servers. I will look into it and try to fix it. But uh, predominantly what you need to do is uh, if you want to check what are all the you know MCP servers that are available, type in, uh, you know, uh, instead of this, like let's go with slash tools and you should be seeing all the MCP servers that are installed. If you see here, uh, these are some uh, built-in MCP servers that are available and uh, this is helping you with Amazon uh, AWS Diagram MCP server. This is for, you know, pricing MCP server. 
So using Amazon Q, you can also calculate the infra costs uh, as to how much it will be at the end of the month. So I've created a separate video for that. I will provide the link to that in the description. Make sure to check that out. And uh, other one is CDK MCP server and EKS MCP server. So you can work along with AWS EKS uh, just with the command, the, uh, the natural languages. You don't need to memorize your EKS CTL or kubectl commands. So I've created a separate video on that as well. If you're interested, let me know in the comments. I'll share the link with you in the you know, comment section. Now our interest is to install the uh, Amazon Q uh, MCP server for diagrams. So how do we do that? Let me exit out of it. So to exit, you just need to type slash quit and it will be out of the prompt. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to install this Amazon Q for diagrams. So where do we install it? As I told you, you need to alter this path. So mcp.json is where you need to add the configurations. So if you see here .aws Amazon Q mcp.json, you need to add this JSON file uh, into this uh, mcp.json and then you will be good to go. Okay, so if you do not have this mcp.json file by default, go ahead and create it in this particular directory. Okay, so let's copy this and see what we have there. So I'll just type in cat and I'll paste the command that I copied. And if you see here, these are all the MCP uh, you know, servers that I have with the queue. So if you see here, uh, CDK MCP server is the one, first one. So this is the second one that is uh, AWS Diagram MCP server, second one. The third one is Pricing MCP server and the fourth one is EKS MCP server. So these were the four uh, MCP servers that you were getting when you type queue chat, right? So if you do not have these MCP servers, what you need to do is copy this configuration. For example, let's say you want to add a AWS Diagram MCP server. So then copy this block of code and paste it in the MCP server. Um, mcp.json file. So that's how you add a new MCP server to the Amazon Q developer CLI. I hope you uh, got that information. Now uh, I'll try to fix the issue and then I'll come back to the demonstration where I'll ask the M MCP servers or you can say Amazon Q to create a diagram for me, an architectural diagram for me. Okay, so let's do that. All right, so I checked for the configuration. There was no issue at all. So uh, after loading the MCP servers again, it fixed the issue automatically. So I'll just type in Q chat and I'll hit enter. And if you see here right now, it loaded all the four MCP servers that we discussed. So the next thing that we need to do is, you know, to generate a diagram uh, in live, right? So like, what I'll do is I'll just, you know, uh, generate a di data pipeline diagram using Kinesis data streams, glue ETL and Redshift is the prompt that I'm given. So let me hit enter and let us see what exactly happens when we type in this prompt. Okay, so I'll hit enter. And if you observe this carefully, the, uh, the QCLI is thinking for now. And once that is done, if you see here, uh, it is saying I'll uh, you know help you create the data pipeline diagram using Kinesis, and if you see here, uh, it is using a tool list icons from MCP server AWS Labs AWS Diagram MCP server. So this is the MCP server it is using. It is picking the server automatically and it is uh, doing the need for. Now uh, I want to allow this action, so I'll uh, type in T and I'll hit enter. And once that is done, it'll you know start generating the uh, image or uh, the architectural diagram for us. So let's wait and see once uh, this is done, right? So let me fast forward this until the uh, you know architectural diagram is ready. Again, I need to allow this. Let me hit T and enter. And it is saying that I've already created a comprehensive data pipeline diagram showing the flow from data sources through Kinesis, data streams, glue, ETL processing, and finally Redshift. Here's what the diagram illustration. I think it has created in a generated diagrams, uh, you know, folder. So let me get inside. And if you see here, uh, there is uh, this diagram. So let me open that uh, here. Okay, so let me go in here. 
uh, sorry, this one and here and let me open this. Okay, so if you see here, uh, this is the data source, uh, web events, IoT sensors, application logs, and this is the Kinesis data streams. Then it is going to Glue Crawler, Glue Crawler uh, ETL processing, then Glue ca data catalog, Glue ETL jobs, then finally the data warehousing part, the Amazon Redshift, then using uh, QuickSight analytics. So all this was generated with just a single line of prompt. Right, so that's how cool uh, the MCP servers are helping the cloud and DevOps engineers, also the data engineers at the moment. So that is what I wanted to show you in this particular demonstration. If you are liking the content that I'm creating, please consider subscribing and share it with your friends. Thank you and I will see you in the next one with another demonstration. Until then, bye.